Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's OpenThoughts.com. You know, let's just get into it. All right, man. So here's a big topic I really always want to talk about, man. And I don't care how long it goes, but it's think for yourself. <laughs> think for yourself, okay? We really need to start thinking for ourselves. A lot of people don't understand when I talk to them about these ideas and stuff, especially because I came out of the religious background of Christianity and what our values is. A lot of it is breaking out of tradition. Well, a lot of people don't really understand is that when I come up with these ideas, I have to research and learn. And, and you know, in this generation where we're in the information age, you know, you really do choose to be ignorant. You really do choose to be dumb because there's so much information and not just positive and, and conscious material. It's just you can learn anything. AC units, you can learn how to tie a shoe better. You know, so we have this. But in the process of this is, you know, you have to take the information and use what's useful to you and start creating thoughts on yourself. When I first started, you know, first started getting on this path of learning all this stuff, you know, I didn't think for myself. I had to listen to what everybody else was telling me. And then when I start breaking apart and start listening to my own information and start looking at society through my own eyes instead of somebody else's eyes, I start building and formulating my own opinion. And that's what we need to do in life is formulate our own opinion. Why do we sit here and start listening and taking all of what somebody's telling us, all of what our parents are telling us, all of what these pastors and these Republicans and Democrats and conservative and, and these media leaders are telling us? Why don't we think for ourselves? Because the more you start thinking for yourself, you more the more you can be free. You can't be free always listening and taking opinions from somebody else. Somebody else can tell you, you ain't going to be nothing in life. And you might take it and then become nothing. <laughs> so why would you always want to follow somebody's opinion? And a lot of that comes back to me for religion and the religious fact. I don't have a problem with anybody. A part of religion is the fact that, you know, a lot of individuals who are in following religious background never thank themselves, never say anything positive about themselves, never say anything, oh, God did this, oh, this, oh, Jesus dressed me up, oh, this, like, when have you ever taken responsibility for yourself? I thank the Lord for waking up. No, you got woke up by your alarm clock. Let's be honest here. Let's start looking at the natural, the natural side of things. And as I'm looking at it, you know, it's whatever you believe. If that helps you, cool. But it doesn't help me and it doesn't help for you to always condemn somebody and tell them, well, this is what the word said. Well, what does your word say? What is your words? What opinion do you have? Every time I say something that's too high, that is too intelligent, somebody say, well, where'd you get that information from? Out of my brain. You know what I'm saying? Our brain, it, look, in your brain, there's a seed. There's a seed. And if you treat that seed right, it'll grow into a tree. And then what happens? That tree harvests, uh, creates fruit, right? And the fruit comes down, has seeds in it. Somebody can pick off that fruit, it, what, spit this, put the seeds back into the ground and create some more. That's what happens. You have a seed and your brain grows in ideas when you start thinking for yourself. If you start thinking for everybody else, you're not going to be anything. When I first started doing comedy, I was worried about what somebody's going to say. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And even though I'm working through working it out myself when I'm on stage. But it's like, why? You know, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, these people are not real. The only thing is real is your goals and your dreams and your aspirations. What people say to you are not real. Nothing that they say to you is not real. Words, you know what I'm saying? They say, what, sticks and stones can break my wounds, but words never hurt me. Yeah, they can hurt, but if you start realizing that they're not even real, you can't really do anything. It's just some words. It's Basically, I feel like this. When somebody says something negative to you, they're really talking about themselves, but they're just using you as a reflection. That's it. When they say you can't do something, no, it's not because you can't do it. It's because they can't do it, because they haven't built up the confidence that you have built up. So how I feel about it is, really need to start thinking for yourself, thinking for yourself. You know what I'm saying? When I stop taking everybody's advice and start listening to my own brain, I start realizing I'm more free than I possibly could be because I'm not a slave. I'm not a slave to somebody else's opinion and somebody else's ideas and somebody else's fear. But that's what we really have to start thinking. And the more you start thinking for yourself, the more you can create. And that's really, if you want to say what God voice is, is God is creation. And if you're not creating you're useless. You're, you're useless in life. That's the truth. You're useless. If you're not creating, you're useless. And I don't mean 
You got to be like an artist or a singer or anything. Just create thought, create conscious thought, create somebody to think. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for my mother because she created a lot of thought in my head, a lot of thinking, a lot of independent thinking. You know what I'm saying? As I was younger, I didn't understand it. But now I'm older. I think independently. All my thoughts come from my own my head and I encourage a lot of individuals you know what I'm saying I learn a lot of stuff you learn information but you always have to create your own independent uh, own idea and what society is you know what I'm saying you know what they show you on TV is not what your reality is going to be you know what I'm saying they show murders uh, uh, in Phoenix Arizona but somebody stealing cars but that's not that's not my reality but we take upon what they tell us and we believe it you know what I'm saying? And then it screws us up because now that's what we believe in. And we start feeding that negative energy. And then that's when stuff starts happening to us. And then we talk about, well, see, I told you I knew. The news said it. Well, you created that. You created that. You created that negative outcome. So what I'm saying to you is think for yourself. And if you, you know, you, you got to learn to think for yourself. That's all I really can say. So, man, I thank you, man. You know, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. You know, if this is helping you, like it, comment, share you know, do, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to help. So thank you. And you know, peace.